This is the LG V20. Well, technically it's a preview unit provided courtesy of LG. Thanks LG. Uh, and I've been using it for a couple of days, and what surprised me is not just how good it is, but how it's just an interesting product with a lot of interesting features. So today, I wanna go over my personal top five features, and keep in mind, these are just specific to my use scenario and how I use my phone. You may disagree, but these are the features that stood out most to me. And the first feature that stands out to me that I value a lot in my phone is build quality. This entire body is made of metal. It's actually aircraft grade metal, so really strong and sturdy. However, they do put a damage proof plastic covering on it, so just to protect the metal a little bit. I don't love that move. I would much rather have exposed metal that just feels cold in the morning and good in your hands. Uh, but it, it does kind of make sense, you know, protect the metal, have a nice, like more rugged and more durable outside covering. So I'm not complaining too much because they still did put the metal in there. I just wish they let it show. Uh, but I really do value a well-built phone like this. Number two is the removable back. It's really easy to remove with a button built in on the side. You just press it in and it comes off. And then you see right away, this was designed to be looked at. It wasn't an afterthought. It wasn't like, oh, we need to make a removable back. It is all stealth black, looks incredible. Removable battery there, a big 3200 milliamp hour removable battery. I really appreciate the design and the time that went into designing this. You can see that it is made of metal on the inside uh, with the plastic covering on the outside, and it's easy to put back on. I appreciate that LG, despite moving up in build quality to metal like a lot of other companies, they have not sacrificed the removable back and removable battery. Very impressive, good job LG, keep it up. All right, the third feature is the cameras. So you've seen this a lot in the Android phone market and most notably recently, the iPhone 7 Plus has a dual camera action going on. We have one 16 megapixel shooter out here and then an eight megapixel wide angle. And I do really like this implementation. Right now I'm actually gonna take a picture of you with both lenses and just show you the difference. So I'll take the first one first, first one first, the non wide angle first, boom. And I'm gonna switch over to wide angle. Boom, Byron, put those both over. Uh, you can see it actually does make a huge difference in how much you can fit in the shot, and it's really nice to have that uh, dual functionality. I do imagine that the way that Apple implemented it with the slider is probably a little better than just the two options with this, but I still appreciate that it's there. On the topic of cameras, here's a sample video from the LG V20. It's just me walking around outside. The new image stabilization uh, technology they have going in there, it's not hardware, I'm pretty sure it's software. Uh, it works extremely well, it's very smooth, and the image in general is just really solid. They really nailed, just like the V10, they really nailed the camera and the optics and everything with the V20. All right, the fourth feature is the secondary display up here. And at first, I thought it was kind of gimmick. I was like, I don't need that, it's kind of useless. But as I've used this phone, it's proved to be surprisingly useful. So when you don't have the screen on, it always shows you the date, the time, and the battery, which is very nice because you don't really need to unlock your phone if you just wanna check the time. You just look over, there's the time. Uh, it also makes things like turning your flashlight on really easy, you just swipe over, boom, flashlight on. Uh, and those are really the main uses I have. You can get more customized with it and put some like custom buttons in there or specific toggles. Uh, I personally just left it at default because it does its job for me. All right, the fifth feature that stands out to me is the software. This is the first phone to ship with Android 7.0 Nougat, I think is how you pronounce it, Nougat? Sure. Nougat, um, and you guys know that I'm not a huge software guy, like I don't do videos doing an overview of updates, but I really do appreciate that they wanna stay up to date with the latest version of Android. And then let's talk about their skin. It's not that heavy over stock Android, which I also really appreciate, but there's just one problem that really bothers me, and that's that there's no app drawer. And right now, because this is a preview unit, there aren't themes available and stuff for me to just tweak it easily and get an app drawer back. So I miss my app drawer, uh, but I'm sure that once it comes out like publicly available, there will be more themes available, and I'll be able to get that app drawer back and go even closer to stock Android. But I do appreciate that LG did not do too heavy of a skin over Android. Thank you. All right, so those are the features, or the top five features of the LG V20 that stood out to me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you agreed with some of the reasons. If there's something else that you saw that really stood out that I didn't mention, definitely let me know in the comments below. With that said, thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more content. And as always, stay close.